Fold. I'll pass. Yeah, I'll fold. Jack, eight. Still with the ace. Free tennis. The night is young. I wish I was. <laughs> I joke. And have a wet. Enjoy yourself, eh? You playing? I'm making a speech. I'm using the old grey matter, son. There's a lot of my dough in that pot. Three tens, cool. Three queens. Three aces. I, 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 I hold it, hold it, hold it. Come on. That's the first time I've played poker with five aces. Five? Four and one makes five. Ace of spades, ace of hearts, ace of clubs, ace of diamonds. And believe it or not, another funny little ace of diamonds. Come on, that's, that's, that's my bow, isn't You're it? You're pissed, son. You're pissed out your brains. You've got to be home in your kip. <laughs> Has anybody else got spots before the eyes, have they? No? Well, let's play poker. Uh, nah, leave me out. Well, that'll do, me. Right. Who are you talking about? You. Get at it. Have a wet. You're my mate. And your job. Listen, yeah. we're all gentlemen around this table. And gentlemen don't pull strokes on each other, right? Wrong. My name's McQueen. <laughs> Ah. 
Ambulance. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Trev, find a coffee mate, Tom. Well, talk too long. It looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, oh yours, dog. But, 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 please, gentlemen. No buts. Just do oh. the business. You do a good job on him, and you never know. I might forget about your little debt. Eh? But you don't understand. The law requires... Oi! Mr Day said no buts. But, but... I want the bastard what done that. Boy, it's a cup of coffee, boy. Oh, look at that bloody awful straight of you. Oh, you've gone from bad to worse, Rob. Here, Trev, give us another coffee, will you? And one for him. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. It's all right. I've got it. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the hell have you been up to? Playing poker. What else? Got friends. You did have friends. You had it all in the palm of your hand, Rob. Until you went and blew it. I thought you was my mate. <laughs> well, the only one you've got left. And since then, mate, you've been two Brahms and Liz to win a game of poker. So where did that lot come from? A result. Oh, all right, you had a result. And I'm dead chuffed for you. That's more like it. Because that's my money you've got there. Yours? <laughs> Mine and every other punter's on a manner that you're in debt up to your rivals to. How much you come away with? 600, give or take that. Right. Give me a one and I'll take it. Aye! The other 50 you owe me, I'll let ride. But I don't think some of the others are going to be quite so understanding. Come ah, well, on, they'll get there, though. No. How? Not with what you've got there. <laughs> Come on. Yep. You're in it up to your neck, isn't you? All right, all right. You're all drowning. Right, all right. I've done everything I can for you, Rob. I can't help you no more. I don't need no one's help, do I? Yeah. What about that necklace? You still got it? Yeah. Well, make it easy on yourself. You're going to have to do it in the end anyway. Do what in the end? Flog the necklace. No, I won't, no. Well, why not? You were quick enough off the mark before, popping it and oh, unpopping yeah, we are, we are. Well, that was before, wasn't it? She ain't coming back, Rob. No, it's Jan. Jan has gone. You ain't never gonna see her no more. Flog the necklace. It's Jan, I mean, I, I can't. It's Jan. Dick, don't ask me. I mean, whatever happens, I'm never gonna let that out of my hand again. Lights are out on the uh, corner of Kiora Road and Broadway Station at Miranda. Two Bill in Sydney. News time. Is this what you're looking ABC for? News with Jeff Howard. Good morning. I thought you'd find it sooner or later. I threw this away before we left London. You threw it in the bin and I pulled it out again. Yeah, why? Because I wanted to keep it. Well, I'm trying very hard to forget, Debs. Having his photo around isn't exactly going to help, is it? The US dollar has again fallen. I need all the help I can get, well. Come on, Robbie. Let's be having you. Come on, no. move yourself. Oh. 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 
Oh. Oh. What's going on? Afternoon, <clears throat> Tom. Terrific. If you want a brew, do it yourself. Tartar, -tar, Tom. This is the last time, Robbie. You understand? The very last time. That room looks like a pigsty. <laughs> but leave it. I'll do it myself. You've been saying that for the last month. And you don't live here yet, Tommy Foster. Oh, son. I know Jan going off has been... Look, Sexpot, please leave it. Leave the room. I'll do it later. But, Robbie... I promise. Later. Robbie! Nice scotch, pint of bitter, thank you. Hello, Robbo. Hello, Jimbo. How's your luck? Ask me after the two o'clock, are you? £38.50. Ta, Rob. Hey. That's what your slate tots up to. I'm going to have to ask you to settle up now. But don't be soppy. You know I'm going to settle up. Like now. You should have asked me before. No, I have done. Before I paid off the others. It's 25. He's 28. 30. 31. Yeah. Now, what's that get me? What that gets you, my son, is your last drink in here until you find the rest. Cheers. Cheers, Jim. With you in just Jeremiah. a minute, uh, Yeah, that's right. Robbie Box's mate. Uh, yeah, yeah, who wants to know? He does. Yeah, be careful with that, will you? He is being. I don't know how these people get away with it, flogging duff gear. You're a naughty boy, Mayor. And so is your mate, Box. Yeah? Yeah. Evil. I don't know what you're on about. I'm on about 600 oneers for a start. He won that playing poker. No, not one. Nicked. So where is he? I don't know. Pity. When you see Box, tell him I want a word with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. Mr. Robert Box. Oh. No, I'm afraid he ain't. Oh. I'm Mrs. Banks. This is Mr. Gordon. We're from the Inland Revenue. May we? What's your ferret? Hello there, Robbo. That's tricks. Ah, it could be worse. Mm. Yeah, fun baby. Hey? Do you want to give it a try? Come on. Shush. Okay. 7 to 4. Wimbledon 2. Trance 5. Digger Smith. 7 to 2. 
Oh, no, is it casual? Sure. Um, he's been creating, you better see him. Wimbledon 3, trap 6, chase water, 3 to 1. You wanted to see Miguel? Yeah, about your account. Well, I'm here. What about it? I'll tell you all about it, son. It's overdue and you're out of order. The credit limits are one. Is it? Well, bloody well it is. Well, I suppose I'd better raise it then. Let's make it a tour then, okay? What do you mean, raise it? Well, simple. Instead of a one limit, you make it. You got some chance. I want it settled. Like now. Like you said, Cocker. You got a chance. All right, when? Listen, Gil, I've owed you before. You know I'm good for it. You were good for it. I've heard some very funny stories about you lately. So if you don't mind, Mr. Box, I would like your accounts settled as soon as possible. What's all this Mr. Box crap, then? Just being polite to a customer. No more credit until it's paid. I'll tell you something, Gil. You ought to lend your dad a quid so he could marry your mum. I'll square you up, and you know it. That's it. You don't come in this place no more. You understand? Swivel on now. Right, no more bets for him. You're barred! And so that much. Six pot. Yeah, yeah, I saw them leaving. But they can't do nothing. They can't find me, can they? Listen to me. I've just about had enough. Take it easy. That's what I've been doing for all these years. Just look at yourself, Robbie. Take a good look at yourself. You look and smell like a tramp. One of them all down and out. What the hell is all this? What are you going to do about this? I don't know. I do. I do. You'll run away. You do the old ostrich bitch and hope it'll all go away. But I tell you this, boy, this one won't go away. This one won't let you run away, neither. This one will chase you. Look, don't worry. I'll sort it. I'll sort it. Right! Then go down and see this woman at the tax office like now, this afternoon. Don't be stupid. I can't go now. I'll go tomorrow. Oh, no, you don't, Robbie. Oh, no, you don't. Not this time, you don't. Who did that? I did. But I haven't finished the game. I mean, look at it. Now, listen, Robbie. If you don't get yourself cleaned up and down to that tax office within the next half hour, you can sling your hook. Do what? I mean, just, do, let me see if I've got this right. Are you saying if I don't go down this tax office today that you're going to throw me out? Is that the bet? Not a bet, son. It's a racing certainty. It's up to you. It's your choice. Called. And raised. Well, we're both losing.
Excuse me. Um. Um. Him. That's the bastard! Box, I want you. Can I give you a lift somewhere? You going anywhere near Sydney, Australia? I'll have to stop for some petrol first. When you see blokes like that coming after you, stand around waiting to see what they've had for breakfast to you. I'm sure you've got trouble whichever way you turn. No, no, no. I'm... Well, I'm really sorry about all that's happened. But you and John. And, uh, and you and me. Right. No, don't worry. You gave me a kick in, I deserved it. Right. Just to say, uh, I'm sorry. Me too. <laughs> so, what are you going to do now? Not oh, sure. No, it's going to be all right. I mean, I'll, I'll suss some of you. Well, she wouldn't mind, you know. It would mean keeping down on the sofa like that. Well, it's better than out. Oh, it's very kind of you. No, better. Granddad have gone for a drink down the RSL with Reg and Doris. Huh? Are you going? Dunno. Not so much fun when it's legal. What about this Turnbull geezer? 
what about him? Well, he fancies you like mad. So what are you going to do about it? Look, Debbie, if we're going to make a go of things out here, if, then it's only going to work on the understanding that we're staying here permanently, right? We have a fat lot of use waiting till our visas have run out and we're stranded. We can't carry on living here. It's not fair to Nan and Grandad. I know. Right, so we're going to get a place of our own. That means money. Now, if the Turnbulls want to go on employing me, I'd be a mug to say no. But you don't know the first thing about antiques. There's not much old Jake doesn't know about furniture. And he doesn't care how much time he spends teaching me. Not old Jake, I'm thinking of. Nor am I. Well, then. Oh, just stop standing there with a face like a wet weed. Go and tell Nan and Grandad you've changed your mind. Right? It's to pay for your round. Oh, thanks. See ya. All right. Oh, and Debs. What? Look, Dad went to a lot of trouble to get me this job. So next time you see Jonathan, don't look at him as if he's something the cat brought in. All right? I've seen that look before. Oh, not just from you. What? All this? Well, it's not exactly uh, sucking on a tin in the outback with the corks <laughs> around your face, is it? No. <laughs> no, no, not quite. <laughs> yeah, could be the King's Road Chelsea. Well, except for the sun tan. Not that I ever saw much of the King's Road Chelsea. Thank you. The blokes, the people I mixed with, um, had a very different lifestyle. Well, talking of suntans, you yeah. would be much more rested than when you first got here. I've been working flat out for you most of the time. Well, you needed something to occupy your mind. Did I? Sure. Works a good therapy. If ever I saw a lady running away, it was you. You're not far wrong. I'm very grateful to you and your father. Hey, don't be grateful. You're going to be useful to us. Am I? <laughs> sure. You know, there's uh, something very special about you, Joe. Um, so how to say this? Uh, can we not complicate this relationship? I'm just sorting myself out, do you know what I mean? And there's plenty of time, isn't there? Sure, I understand. I just wanted you to know what I thought of you. Thank you. Hey, you could get used to this. Well, you never know. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Morning, Stan. Good afternoon. <laughs> been overdoing it, have you? <laughs> what makes you think I've been doing it at all? Tea up in five minutes. <laughs> Oh, no. What's up, Tom? It's a blooming tramp. <laughs> no, not quite. Oi. Oi. Come on, son. Rise and shine. Stakes. It was our future. 
I mean, you'll always be like that. Mom. Oh, please. Look. Yes. Was it about Robbie, the dream? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you go back to sleep. You don't like it here, do you, Mum? I, I just miss London, that's all. And Robbie. Yeah, and, and Robbie. And that's shush. If you wanted to go back, just for a trip, I wouldn't mind. I'd be all right here with Nan and Grandad. All right, all right. We'll talk about it tomorrow, all right? Now, come on, get some sleep. Good night. Night, night, baby. God bless. God bless. Oh, please, don't go. Sorry about the lock, Tom. I'll buy a new one. Oh, don't worry about it. Yeah. More brew? Ooh, yeah, Tar. I don't suppose you've got something to liven this up a bit, have you? You're right, I ain't. No, I didn't think so. I'm freezing my taps off here. Oh, Mum's been worried sick about you, son. Where you been the last three days? Here and there, about. It's all right. Truth? No, she ain't. She's been laying awake at night worrying about you and where you were. And on top of that, your auntie Derry's been taken poorly. And your mum's been lumbered with running her junk store at the market until she gets back on her feet. What's up with Derry? Something serious? Fatal. It's called old age. She's too blooming old to be out there in all weathers. And so's your mum. But she won't have it, though. She's tougher than you think. Uh -huh. She's more excited about running that store than she is about the wedding. <laughs> oh, God, you know, I must be getting soft in my old age. There was a time I could keep rough for a week. Yeah. Well, them days is long gone, son. Here. Yeah. Look, if you don't want to go home, keep it my place. Just till you get yourself sorted. I'll be giving it up when I get married, mind. If I don't like the noise. So does he. No. Don't worry. He'll be all right at my place. He spends most of his nights out anyway. Yes, but Tommy, I... I threw him out. London to see the Queen. How did you know I was here anyway? Uh, uh, no broken bones on it. I thought you'd go straight round there. Get out of here, you old piker. I've got a wet kettle on. Oh, do you mind, madam? I'm trying not to blush here. It's a very delicate and sensitive operation. <laughs> You've got nothing there that I haven't seen before, son. Thank you, Mummy. Two sugars. You're a very odd man to find, Ross. 
Wasted a lot of time and trouble on you, Box. And I don't need the aggravation. Now then, Friday night, pissed out of your brain, you got yourself into a spieler. Yeah? Jose. The last hand, you and three other geezers. Remember? Yeah. Well? Well, yeah. And he was a hand, uh, the, this, uh, this, uh, Scotsman, and there was this other one, there's, uh, yeah. Paul. Paul. Highly talented dealer. Hmm? It works for me. For me, Box. Does he? He does. Did. Until you, rubbish, stuck a knife in his ribs. <laughs> and nicked 600 quid off him. I oh, know it was you. He was cheating. Because you was the last one out he of the He was pulling room. aces. Out You're very face. lucky the boy is still breathing. That's why this McPhee stuck him. McPhee? Well, well, it wasn't me. McPhee? I oh, can't mind you with that. You saw it, didn't you? So no, I'm going to stop this right now, Box. Now then. Outside there is the backyard. Dustbins, dead cats, and stuff. Did you notice? No, you should have done. Upstairs, it's the fourth floor. It's a long way. Now, at a word from me, Gerald here will take you for a little walk up those stairs and take great pleasure in dropping you out the window. Is that right, Jerry? Yeah, right. I didn't do it. It was McPhee. McPhee ain't here. You are. But you can ask anyone I do. I don't carry a knife. What can I say? I didn't do it. You was too pissed, son, to know what you did. Who am I going to believe, eh? A man I trust like you was my own brother? Or rubbish like you? Him. Let's see what the bill comes to. Uh, first off, there's a 600 what you nicked. Oh, no, no, I only took what I was cheated out of. Mr. Day said shut up when he's talking. Plus 1,500. Hey. Damages. Plus loss of income on account of you putting my best dealer out of action. 50? Shut it. Plus 500. On account of inconvenience suffered. Plus nuisance value, plus a bloody waste of time chasing around the houses after a git like you. Which comes to 2,600. I oh, don't take checks, markers, nor no silly promises. I haven't got it. Then you better find it. I'll take him upstairs, Ronald. No, all right. All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. Now, you don't deserve this box. I'll make it easy for you. I'll take it one bit at a time. What? Six runners. I haven't got six quid. I mean, I've been paying back all my mates the money that I owed them. Oh, great. Must be their lucky day getting paid off with my dough. You got till tomorrow night. Six hundred. Yeah, by tomorrow night. What? Well, it's got by Robbie Box, isn't it? Well, if you didn't stick him, who did? A jock named McPhee. I've never heard of him. Now look, Robbo. Mr. Wagon. No. Oh, will you give us a chance, man? No, look, all your noise. Now the wagon's not in bad condition. I could 
gosh, I've been reading No, you could. I won't let you. It's all right. There must be something you can do. There is. No. Don't be a fool, Rob. Go and do what you've got to do. Oh. Do what? He knows. All right, Rob. Be an hero. A dead hero and stupid with it. Hero? It's nothing to do with you, Jordy. Jane's necklace. All I know is I've got to find 600 by tomorrow night and another two grand after that. McPhee. There must be hundreds of McPhees in London. Maybe not. Listen, I've got a few last-minute thoughts of Dad's. Uh, if you can find any of the stuff he's after fine, if you can't, don't worry. Just pass it on to his agent. No, uh, Grover. Oh, sorry. Let him worry. Okay. Yeah. His, his number's there. All right. Well, when I've sorted my flat out, I'll get in touch with him. Yeah, no hurry. Just enjoy yourself. We uh, expect to see you back here within the month, eh? Okay, Jack? Yeah. Yeah, well, I uh, expect you want to say goodbye to your family, so I'll uh, go and wait for them in the car and uh, give them a lift back. Thank you. And will you thank Jake for everything? Sure. No worries. I'll see you later. Thanks. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Take care. Good trip. Yeah, I will. Bye-bye, Mum. Bye-bye. Take care. Yeah. You too. Bye-bye, Dad. Look Yeah. Not for long. Bye. I know. You do understand, right? Well, you just get on that plane. And if you see him, give him my love. Yeah. Yeah, well, if I see him, yeah. Bye. Any luck? Any luck? Hey, what? Look, fee. Oh, no. I've been at it all night. I've been around every spear in London. Nothing. What about you? No, nothing. No, well, that's it then, isn't it? All right. Well, at least we've tried. I mean, it's more than Robbie deserves. He's done that thing Listen, Geordie, your... I've got to get some shut eye. You giving up, then? No. No. I'm not deaf. I can still hear the blower, can't I? Sure, he's still there. Great. Thanks, Harry. I owe you. Not as much as Robbie does. Who's that number? Got him. Hello, Ronnie Day. Uh, never mind who this is. I believe you're interested in a bloke called McPhee. Hey, Robbo. You've seen him, have you? Seen who? The dog, who else? No, I ain't. You ought to buy him some decent grub and he'd come running, wouldn't he? Cheeky sod. He only has the best fresh liver. He eats better than what I do. You what? So why did he want to leave home? Oh, oh yes, thank you. Six hundred. Only just right, Fox. Only just, yeah. I had an instinct about you. Knew you could pull it off. Did you? Yeah. Tough, was it? You'll never know how tough. Okay, sir, sir.
ordinary yeah. about, son. Um... Something on your mind? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, box! I nearly forgot. Uh, two grain. <laughs> on your mind, is it? The mind a bit heavy, yeah. Well, don't let it. This must be your lucky day. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Someone out there must love you. That's nice. And to be honest, son, now that we're all friends again, I never reckon you to have enough bottle to cut yourself shaving. Huh? Not you. So when this highly anonymous geezer phones up out the blue naming names, naturally I'm interested. Names? Like the fee. You'll be pleased to hear that him and me have been engaged in some fruitful negotiations. Both to my advantage and to yours. Fee, I did tell you. You did. But without a bit of what the filth calls corroborative evidence, who's going to believe a broken down lump of all shit like you? No money, no future, no nothing. Here, piss pot. Have a drink with me. Always rely on the British weather, eh? <laughs> yeah. Rain, rain. rain. Always rain. <laughs> approximately 6.45 a.m. Slightly ahead of schedule. Here to a friendly tailwind. You got anyone meeting at the airport? No. 